Welcome to 4-Minute Answers. It's easy to just start setting up tables in Notion, which look like spreadsheets, and imagine that it's the only way to set up your information, but it isn't. Notion has several types of different databases, and in this video, we'll look at all of the database types and give examples of when these may make sense for you. Having your information in the best type of database can help you turn into a Notion Pro. Now, if we open up a new page in Notion and then tab down and hit forward slash, we'll get the Notion dialog box, and we can scroll down to the section called Database and you can see all the types here in Notion. So let's get to them one by one. Now, one of the key decisions you'll be making is what information is the most important to you because the type of database you will want to use will depend on it. Table inline is the first database type and it is probably the most common type. It looks like a spreadsheet and it's infinite in its width and its depth. Just add columns for information and start plugging it in. Tables are great if name of the project or name of the task is how you want to organize your view. Next, board inline is a Kanban or workflow type board in which it shows your data along some continuum that you establish. Now, if you have a project where there are stages or handoffs, this sort of board works great. For example, let's say your team has a project to create an ad to run on social media. Your stages could be strategy, copywriting, design, in review, editing, approval, and complete, those seven stages. So someone will write the strategy document and then it will go to copywriting who then hands it to design and it then goes in for review and maybe there are edits to be made and possibly goes back for review and ultimately approval and then complete once the ad is placed. On a board type database, not only can you visualize the, how the workflow is set up, you can move projects right here on this board super easily. The board is a great tool if the status of the project is how you want to organize your view. Gallery in line is the type of board where you see larger cards or boxes with data or images and generally have three to five cards in a row and then an infinite number of rows. Now this is great for something like recipes where you want to have a picture of the dish on the card or photographs or other artwork or if you had this set up as a dashboard for clients you showed the client logo on the card. It's an engaging and image heavy way to see your data and so if images are the way you want to organize how you see your data gallery is the answer. List in line I must admit is the type of database that I just don't use but as you can see it produces a table with a list of information on it. Now this could be useful for a table of contents or an index of items, I suppose. So here, like table, the name is the most important because it is the only data here. Calendar inline is a great way if your database uses dates as the key bit of information to organize by. And it shows your data in a traditional calendar and it makes it easy to visualize. So if date is the way you want to organize your view, calendar is for you. Timeline inline is similar to calendar because it's a way to view your projects or tasks over time, but in a timeline, it's viewed well on a time continuum versus a calendar. Now, it's easy to organize your projects this way and to make adjustments on the fly. Similar to calendar, this view is one that you would want to consider if deadlines are the most important way to organize your information. And it's great for teams who collaborate on projects. As you can see on the dropdown, this list is repeated with full page instead of inline. Now, the difference between full page and inline databases is that with an inline database, you can also have other types of information on the page. An inline database is intended to just be part of the page. A full page database is like it sounds. It is the full page and you cannot have any other sections on the page other than that database. A full page database is great for things like key databases like a master action task list or a master to do database or a master CRM database where you want the database to be the only thing on the page. Finally, linked databases are critical to having Notion work for you. Imagine you have a master to do database for all your action items, work, personal, side hustle, hobby, one master database with the status column of the type of action item. And then on a dashboard you create for an area of life like work, you can link your master action items database to it and then filter it so that on this dashboard it only shows your work to do's. And any updates or changes you do here are automatically synced to your master to do list and vice versa. Any changes you make on the master list are automatically updated anywhere that that database is linked. After working with Notion for a little bit, you will find that there are two or three types of databases that are your go-to types. But now you know all the database types available. So why don't you give each one a try and see what works for you? Now you're a master of databases. To see what else you can master Notion, check out this video right here.